Ähm, wir kommen jetzt zu unserem ersten Kampf. Und der erste Kampf ist so ein richtiges Derby. Ja? Wir haben jetzt Düsseldorf gegen Münster. Ähm, und zwar haben wir einen Fechter hier, der seit wow, 13 Jahren fechtet. Ja, also der hat auf jeden Fall was drauf. Also ich habe persönlich von ihm schon ein paar sehr gerade auf die 12 gekriegt. Ja, kann man auf jeden Fall feiern. Also schaut auf jeden Fall. Aber hat jetzt auch Ausschau nach dem Scheitelhau von ihm. Ähm, und zwar ist hier Marek Schönke. Okay, in der grünen Ecke Marek Schönke und Fechter seit zwölf Jahren, ein Kollege von mir aus dem DDHF-Team, das ist so unser deutschlandweites Team, ja. ähm, sehr guter Fechter auf jeden Fall, aus Münster ist hier Nikolai Roman! Okay, dann gehen wir jetzt in das erste Match rein. Saskia Eisenbach. Sorry. Alex Wellett. Und hier sie gehen. Bolton Puke, first hit to the hands. One point white. Good start by Nikolai. Oh, and I saw another hit. The judge also judge on quality. If the referee doesn't think the hit was with quality, he will not award the points. This might have been a flat hit. He just explained that he won't judge the first exchange or the first action because it was too short. Yeah. Double hit. One point each. Can you turn your order? We got that. Four hundred more here. It should be better now. A nice leg hit by Nikolai. And don't forget to protect the legs. I saw it as a flat hit. The judge has a different opinion. Fencer both fencing from Pluk. That's when you fence with your point forwards. Hit dodged and then a repost from green. Uh, I believe you can take your microphone further to you. And then you can turn the pitch down. Okay, the judge just called for a timeout to see what happens and to take his time to judge the exchange. Yeah, that's a lot of noise. Yeah, 
just use the fun Sure. Yeah. One point for white. It's a very even match. Another hand hit, a lot of hand hits. But that's when you're standing from a big distance from your opponent, the hands come forward and then they become targets. Both reluctant to put the hands forward and then they put them forward at the same time. I think uh, Nikolai, the white fencer, looks way more relaxed than the green fencer. He, he takes more time for his actions, he tries to lure him in. The green fencer is also a little bit bent over, which is not good for your uh, movements. Last the exchange. final exchange is 6 7. And what will it be? Very difficult to judge. Judged as a double hit. One point each. This was the first match of three matches. Now there is a 90 minute, a 90 second pass. The match is very even with seven for green against eight for white. Yeah, what do you think, Max? I, I think it's a very even, nice match. Both try to lure the opponent in and both go for the somewhat easy targets to begin with and then I feel like they're still filling each other out yes. not committing to their strikes yes that's saying that's the, true. Uh, outside of distance in the two fechten in the large distance um, in German or in our club we often say the tiefen ziele angreifen so we try to go for the deep target for, for the torso or for the head and I didn't see that much here in this fight for by now no. but as you, as you just said it's a lot of testing the opponent. How, will he, how is he reacting? I think Nikolai has really nice footwork and he seems more relaxed. The green fencer um, is holding his sword a little bit more cramped. He's a little bit bent over. It might be the stress, but he still managed to keep it uh, quite even. Yes, good observation. Okay, we, we, we have to turn up the, uh, the microphone a bit again. So I hope the audible or the comments are now better audible. Again, Fluke beim Pluk, Sprechfenster. Is the sound better by now? Very nice hit from White to the hands of Green to get ahead by one point again. Here they go again. Flug against Flug. Flug is the position where you keep your sword forward in towards the opponent. They both have the elbows quite wide, which means they lose a little bit in distance. Another point for White. Two points ahead now. Still, White is playing a distance game. Try to talk into the microphone. I can put it here and go next to it. It's better, but a little timeout for a gear failure. I think the Red Dragon um, leg protectors come loose. They often tend to do that. Again, Pluk against Pluk. Up. Roman throwing his um, point around a bit, the white fencer. Trying to get the green fencer to commit to an action. Green pulls back, has his ord way up, and tries to do a, a long attack. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a ring out. In this rule set, as soon as any body part is over the edge of the ring, it counts as a ring out, and that's one point. I saw the sort of green bend, so I think it was a flat hit. 
the judge disagrees. Green gets two, blue. Green gets two, white gets one point. Very tight match. Nice distance management by Nikolai. Yeah, again, a head hit. But again, I saw the sword bent. Mm, no, there's no actual penalty for playing the timer, but you're not allowed to bull rush or do anything like that. I heard the hit. I think it was a parry. Yeah, here I saw a uh, hit and an afterblow. Hit on the torso, I think, an afterblow. But the judge didn't see clearly. It's very difficult to judge this. Very nice action. The scores are very, very similar as after the first round. Just reversed. One point ahead by the green fencer. 14 points for green and 13 points for white. Okay, I think green is taking more chances by going um, through the middle and really going for the heads. And Nikolai, white fencer, needs to adapt for it. What I, what I think, what I saw quite often by green is trying to lure Nikolai in and try to have him over, overextended and overreached for some target and so that he can parry and go for an, for an yeah. counter. And Nikolai is really trying to work with his fakes, with his feints, to lure uh, Green into defending an attack that isn't an attack, and then going for the target he actually wants to hit. In the last exchange, it worked very well. There was there was a question of a judge and a fighter from the same club. Yes, it is this way, but the judge is very professional and won't uh, have it clouded its judging. We hope, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we hope. <laughs> it's still an amateur sport, so things like this happen. Not a big pull to pull judges from, especially experienced judges. Here they go again for the final rounds. One point for lefty after blow was out of time. I think it was a mistake by the white fencer to attack the lower opening where the green fencer was attacking from. Uh, the judge called a timeout and now he's explaining what happened and he tries to get the fences to fight more clearly so I just have to explain that much. Here they go again. Now they're fully committing for their strikes. I think they found their zone where they're comfortable. Still very tight match. 16 for green and 15 for white. I again saw two hits. Yeah, one point each. They're moving around much more. Marek the, gre Marek the green fighter, much more aggressive game by now. And for now it's working. He's three points ahead. Two minutes left on the clock. Nikolai seems to have problems with the pressure he's receiving from Marek. Still tries to find openings, like now for the leg. Nikolai trusting his distance game and Marek uh, trusting his rushes. Two points different in the advantage of the green fencer. Yeah, again. Nikolai has a tendency to faint with the thrust and then go either from right to the leg like he did now or left to the hands, which is often defended. A one-handed strike from the green fencer. Back two points ahead. 
And we enter the final minute of the match. And just like that, it's even again. 50 minutes left on the clock. Seconds. <laughs> Nikolai getting close to the edge of the ring again. Nice. Nik Nikolai saw a nice opening. And he took it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and again, nice opening. Do dove? Dived? I don't know. Right below dove. the hit. I think Green tried to attack but hesitated because he saw Nikolai also depart for the attack and then he didn't finish the attack and now the judges are discussing whether the attack of green is good enough quality to consider a valid hit expanding double hit uh, hit from left to right on the arm and right from left to the arm both get one point one point ahead for Nikolai Last exchange and timeout. One point green for a hit to the arm. The score are even. Final exchange will make the difference. Ooh. Double hit and again. That means now that the fight is done and there is a draw, there will be a final exchange to determine who is the winner. Point the sides. What will it be? Both very careful. Malik putting on the pressure. Very dynamic footwork now. Nikolai needs to be careful for the edge of the ring. Malik putting on pressure. I didn't see what happened. White attacked the hands of Green, which got parried. And then Green hit White, which means Green won the fight. Marik Schunke won the first fight. Congratulations. Nice even match. With one point ahead. Good win. Very close match. Okay, congratulations on your victory on Nikolai. Thank you very um, much. In the beginning, I have the uh, idea that there was a lot of feeling around. The first round, it was very much hand hit, hand hit, hand hit, not committing to a lot. Yeah. What were your feelings in the first round? Um, yeah, in, in the beginning, it was really just feeling out how, how long his distance is because he's a little bit taller than I am. Yeah. Um, and while we have sparred before, it's been quite a while since I've met him in, in combat. So um, just feeling each other out and, and getting an idea of uh, how well he's doing and then trying to get some more committed hit, hit, hits in, but usually those ended being in a double hit because he went for the arms or he, he got me somewhere where I didn't expect him to. Um, so uh, yeah, I think the first round very much was a bit of trial and error. And then in the second round, yeah, he found his hand hit. You found his head a couple of times. Yeah, um, I, I think in the second round I had a, a feeling that he was getting a little winded, which by the end yeah. wasn't true at all because he, he did really slow down. 
but um, I, I got a couple more deeper hits in where um, he was trying to, to snipe my hands but missed them or I got a good parry in. Yeah. I think your defense of the hands was very good. Um, then near the end, very tight match, last exchange, what were you thinking? Um, just get a hit in. Uh, that's why I tried for the, the one-armed snipe to the leg yeah. because I thought it's not a clean hit. I don't really want to win like this, but um, and in the end I didn't hit him, but it, it's just a case of um, getting the, the last hit in. Yeah. And then he attacked, you parried, reposed That was and really hit close. That was like two millimeters from hitting over my guard and being a double hit again, yeah. um, in, in which case it would have been unfortunate because then we probably would have had yet one more exchange. Yeah, and then congratulations, very well done. Thank you very now, much. Now, one big question. How did you prepare for these fights? Um, I, to be honest, I didn't really because I, I only got the notification that I was in middle of last week and yeah. I only did my normal training since, so okay. um, no special preparation for tonight. Yeah, and I saw in the beginning you were very statically fencing on the line, but near the end, there was more um, sideways movement, I noticed. Yeah, it's a, it's a case of um, in, in a line you get a better understanding of, of distances and yeah. because he was moving quite statically as well, um, trying to circle around him would have brought me closer to him and allowed him for more hits, I, at least that's what I felt. Um, so I, I sort of mimicked his movement pattern and in the end we were both trying to circle around each other's guard, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was a very nice fight. Yeah, it was quite even. That's that's rare to see, I think. Yeah. I hope all the fights will be uh, as exciting as your fights. I hope so too. And uh, thank you for the interview and congratulations again uh, on your victory. Thank you.